Hi, welcome to San Francisco. Most people come to San Francisco to see the Golden Gate Bridge, Alcatraz, Fisherman's Wharf, or visit, or visit Chinatown. We're here in San Francisco today to do some carpool chemistry. Today we're going to learn how to calculate the percent of an element in a compound. Let's take a look at silver nitrate, AgNO3. It has one atom of silver, one atom of nitrogen, and three atoms of oxygen. The question is, in this compound silver nitrate, what percentage of it is actually silver? That is percentage by mass. Now the untrained chemist would say, oh, that's easy. There's one silver, there's one nitrogen, there's three oxygens. That's a total of five atoms. One out of those five atoms is silver. So they might say, well, that's 20%. Doesn't work that way. And the reason being, uh, is that the masses of silver, nitrogen, and oxygen atoms are all different. Silver is much heavier than nitrogen and oxygen, and so it's going to have a larger percentage. Let's take a look at how we figure this out. We want to use the formula, and as with any percentage formula, all it is is the small part divided by the large whole. That is, the percent of that element is the mass of the element divided by the total mass of the compound. And in this case, we're going to take a one mole sample. And so we'll be calling the mass of that one mole sample the molar mass of the compound. OK. And then if you divide it, it gives you a ratio or a fraction. And you could uh, divide it and have a decimal number. And to convert that to percentage, of course, you multiply by 100. OK, the first thing we need to do is take a look at the molar mass. Let's calculate the molar mass of silver nitrate. We know how to do that. Molar mass. And we take the grams of silver is equal to, well, we have one mole of silver in a mole of silver nitrate times. And of course, we're using watt is equal to have times factors for this. One mole of silver times, and what's the mass of one mole of silver? We look in our handy dandy periodic table over here, and we see silver's right down over here, right there, clocking in at 107.87 grams per mole, times one zero, one mole times 107.87 grams of silver per mole. And so you're looking at 107.87 grams. Let's take a look at the grams of the next element, nitrogen. It's equal to one mole of nitrogen times, and nitrogen we're looking at 14.01 grams per mole. 14.01 grams of nitrogen per mole. And so that's 14.01 grams of nitrogen. This one is silver. And then finally, the grams of oxygen. We have three moles of oxygen there. We have three moles times an oxygen. We're looking at the atomic mass, 15.9994, which really rounds out to the nearest one one hundredths, 16 grams of oxygen per mole is equal to 48.00 grams of oxygen. And table or periodic table. To get the mass of the entire mole of that compound, we now add these numbers up and I get 107.87 plus 14.01 plus 48 and I'm looking at 169.88 and 169.88 grams of AgNO3 for every one mole. Okay, so that's the mass of the entire mole of silver nitrate. The question is, what is the percentage of silver in this? So to find the percentage of silver, you simply say percent AG is equal to the mass of the silver 
Now, of this 169.88 grams of silver, silver nitrate, what portion of that is silver? Isn't it 107.87 grams? So you put down in your fraction over here, 107.87 grams of silver for every 169.88 grams of AgNO3. And then you turn that into percentage by multiplying by 100. And if you punch this in on your calculator, 107.87 divided by 169.88 times 100, we're looking at 60, 63.49. Uh, Let's double check that. 107.87 divided by 169.88 times 100 and yeah 63.50 basically 63.50 uh, percent let's take a look at the percentage of nitrogen percent nitrogen is equal to 14.01 grams of nitrogen okay because we have we have 14.01 grams right up over there out of that total of 169.88 grams times 100, we're looking at 14.01 divided by 169.88 times 100, 8.24%. And this would be nitrogen, this would be silver, and finally, let's calculate the percent oxygen. Percent oxygen is going to be equal to, well, out of that entire 169.88 grams, 48 of those grams are oxygen. So you go 48.00 grams oxygen out of 169.88 times 100. And we're looking at 48 divided by 169.88 and it looks like the percentage of oxygen times 100 is 28.26% oxygen. Okay, so there, there are the percentages for silver, nitrogen, and oxygen in the compound silver nitrate. To double check your answer, as you know, the percentages should all add up to what number? Yep, 100%. Let's test it out. 63.5 plus 8.24 plus 28.26. And I got, look at that, 100%. So that's how you calculate the percent of an element in a compound. Okay, so from San Francisco, this is Carpool chemistry. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.